guys welcome back to my channel today I thought it would be fun to uh, maybe work on one of these little snack size diamond paintings that I got from one day saving they sent these to me to review and I just thought I would share this with you guys this is actually gonna be my very second um, special drill this is an 18 by 18 centimeter and it's this little smiley flower so I thought this would be fun to work on and we've got the drills here I already did an unboxing video a while back so uh, if you missed that you can find it in my previous videos but guys I think these are just beautiful they're so sparkly these drills are so let's see if we can um, get some of the creases out of this. I am going to roll it in the opposite direction. It's so tiny, so I hope this works. How have you guys been? Oh my goodness, this summer just seemed to fly by. And um, my son actually just started back to school a couple of weeks ago and I cannot believe that he is now a senior in high school and my daughter my daughter is off to college she got all moved out and moved into her dorm room and so that's been a little bit of an adjustment so yeah all right, did we get the creases out? I think we may have gotten pretty good there. Wow, so it's laying pretty flat. And let's take a look here. So it looks like these go by numbers. There's numbers and some of these I believe have letters. So let me also check to see if the letters are showing up on these drills we've got numbers and letters yes okay so that's how these work and you know what I think I'm gonna need my light pad so let me pause the video and get my light pad and I will be right back all right we are back you know light pads really do make a huge difference look at this so it's got, I think, three different settings. So there's one, two, which is more of a dim yellow, and three. That one's not quite as bright. And then off. This is more of a white light. And then the yellow, and then sort of um, a neutral. I don't know what you'd call this. Between the yellow and the bright light. So I think I'm going to use this one. And so I'm actually using, gosh, I can't remember which company I got this wax from. Was it Craftably? I'm actually using a different wax right now and a different pen than what came with the kit. Just because I like using my own diamond painting pens. But these kits do come with their own wax, a tray, and a pen. And like I said, I did the unboxing in a previous video, so you guys could check that out if you missed it. And then you'd see exactly what they come with. Um, so we're going to start with... What letter should we start with? Y. I think I'm going to start with the red in the center of the mouth. So these are some tiny little red drills here. And we will just start with these. But I just wanted to get a quick little video up, guys. I have missed you all. It has been a crazy summer. Um, getting my daughter moved off to college and getting my son started back to school. I didn't go anywhere this summer. I was hoping I could get back home to visit my family, but with the weather and everything, back in Oklahoma, which is where my family lives, they've been having like 
I think it's been over 100 degrees for quite a while, like straight. So I'm waiting to see if um, I can get back maybe next month. I've just been kind of waiting for it to cool down a little bit. Um, my car, <laughs> I have an old car, so I just don't want to have any car problems on the way back or on the way there, you know. Um, that would not be good. I don't want to have to go drive across the really, really hot states and have something happen, have my car overheat or something. Because my car is about 20 years old. <laughs> and I almost forgot to peel this paper back, so let's do that. And we are going to go ahead and get started with placing these little special drills on the Y shapes. Or, um, yeah, I guess that's what you would call these. Drill field on the Ys. Yeah, it has been really, really hot here the last couple days in Santa Cruz. So we are not used to this heat, and they're talking about possible rolling blackouts, which they did, I think it was either last year or in, no, maybe it was in 2020. We actually had to go through several times of having the power cut off because they do these rolling blackouts to try to conserve energy. Hopefully we're going to avoid having that happen this week because they keep sending out notifications telling people, like, I just got one. Let me show you. I literally just got this alert from PG&E that says, extreme heat is straining California's grids. Whoops. Save energy from 4 to 9 p.m. to prevent outages. Learn more. You have to go to flexalert.org or pg&e.com. But, but yeah, they will literally just cut off the power if they think that we're going to use too much. And we don't even have AC. Here in Santa Cruz, actually most of the Bay Area, I believe, I used to live in San Jose, and we didn't have AC in our house there. The houses just weren't built with it. Um, I think the house I lived in in San Jose was built in the 50s. And then the house or the townhouse that I'm in now was actually built in the 80s. And there's no AC. We've got a wall unit for a heater, like a furnace, on the wall downstairs. And that's it for heating, too. And I am in a two-story townhouse, so... Yeah, it gets kind of chilly upstairs in the bedrooms. If I don't leave all the doors open, um, the bedrooms will get pretty chilly in the winter. But the good thing about living here is that it doesn't really freeze. And <laughs> it normally doesn't get very hot. But this summer, wow, I think it got up to 102 yesterday. And that's pretty much unheard of. And I think San Jose broke a record. So, my ex, um, my son had talked to him last night on the phone, and I think he said it was over 100 degrees inside the house. I think it got up to like, I don't know, 107 there yesterday, and like I said, they don't have any air condition either. So, yeah, that's a little too hot. Too hot for comfort, that's for sure. Of course, my mom keeps saying, move back to Oklahoma, because at least here you'd have AC. Because <laughs> I say, no, it's too hot in Oklahoma, too. And she's like, but at least you'd have AC. <laughs> but, you know, this extreme weather only lasts for a few days here. I think there was one time a couple years ago that it got up to like 90 degrees for a couple of days. Whoops. Okay. I really need to get some cover minders because I, I never, you know what, I'm going to use my phone. 
I never have anything to hold my paper back when I'm doing my diamond paintings. I always put something heavy on it. I did have one cover minder that I got from one company, but for some reason the magnet didn't last long at all. It broke off, so I just yeah, started using other things again. Do the magnets usually last? Do you guys use cover minders? Let me know. Also, I've been thinking, um, since I do want to get to posting again on this channel, I want to get back to regular posting on this channel, um, and I was thinking I may start incorporating more of my knitting as well as my diamond painting, because, you know, I do do a lot of knitting, and um, I don't know if you guys are into multi-crafting like I am, but I do love diamond painting and knitting, some crochet. I still haven't done my kits that I bought for the cross stitch. Um, I want to try cross stitch. I really do. It's just finding the time, isn't it? Sometimes it's really hard to find time to do the things you love or to try to do new things. But... So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you watch knitting videos too? Are you guys into knitting or are you just here for the diamond painting? Um, did you just find my channel for the first time with this video? Or have you been following for a while? Let me know. I'm curious. I figured it was time for a whip and chat and I've been missing, missing my diamond paintings, missing you guys. I have been doing a lot a lot more with my doll channel lately just because um, I've been getting some commission requests for knitting for the ball jointed dolls in the dolly community so I've done a couple of little sweaters recently I've done some outfits custom outfits that people have asked me for so that's kind of been keeping me busy too Anytime I've had any time to do anything, I've been working on knitting for dolls and trying to post more videos on my dolly channel, which actually crossed a thousand subscribers back in May, which is awesome. <laughs> now, hopefully I can get this channel to, um, to pick up. Let's see. I think I got all the Y's. Mm, yep, that looks like all the Y's. So we've got some leftovers here. And let's see if I can get them back in the little bag. But yeah, let me know what you guys did this summer. Did you guys go on vacation or uh, just stay home and do a staycation kind of thing? With all the weather... And from what I can see, there's been so many flight delays. I just, I would rather drive. I mean, you know, I used to fly here and there, but um, hang on, let me see which one we're going to do next. Oh, it's hard to see. The lighting is so dim today. Let's see, where's letter X? There are some X's in here. Let's do a few X's. Um... Yeah, my lighting is not the best today. It is getting closer to fall, and we have much less sunny days here in Santa Cruz. Even though I've got skylights, they don't seem to uh, light it up in here very well until about 3 p.m. 3 or 4, I have like a small window of time that I can... Okay, these are X. Yeah, X. I usually just have a small window of time that I can um, do unboxings or or any kind of videos down here with natural lighting because I love the natural lighting from my skylights. Oh, and I want to wish my friend on Does Life congratulations. She actually just posted a video that she crossed 1,500 subscribers. So congratulations, Dawn. 
I just caught her video this morning and I just wanted to give her a shout out and congratulate her. She truly deserves it. She is an amazing person and one of my besties on here. I've just missed her so much since I've been away. I mean, I've been away from this channel for a little while. So yeah, I just thought I would say, say, hey, Dawn. <laughs> You go, girl. <laughs> All right. Um, so go check out her channel. She's also doing a giveaway, guys. She's doing a giveaway since she just hit 1,500 subscribers. So that is awesome. I want to do a giveaway, too, whenever I hit 1,000. I'm about a third of the way there, so we'll see when. We'll see how long it takes to get me to 1,000, right? Uh, on my doll channel, it actually took me about two years to get to uh, a thousand. So on that channel, I think I'm up to 1,170-ish. I think it said 1,172 today. So that was pretty cool because I started my dolly channel during the pandemic as well. And then I got this channel started Wow, when was it? A little over a year ago? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> I just need to be more consistent and get back to posting. All right, so now what letter should we look for? Let's look for the V's. We are just going to do his mouth. We're going to finish his mouth, guys, and then, and then I think I'm going to end this video... Well, like I said, I hope I can get back to Oklahoma next month. Uh, yeah, if I do, then maybe I'll share some footage of my road trip. I'll definitely be sharing footage of my road trip on my exploring channel. And yes, I do have multiple channels. That one is uh, Christine Explores. Oops, if I can pick this up. Wow, you guys can't even see what I'm doing, can you? Because I've got my little tray off camera. But these drills are so big, they don't want to pick up. So I think I've seen people... I think I've seen people use tweezers for these, but I'm just going to grab a little more wax. There we go. <laughs> That'll work for now, so I don't have to pause the video again. So these are cool. These are really big. These are, I was going to say, I think these are the biggest drills, special drills on this little canvas, but it does look like the letter K is also going to be quite big. So they're probably going to be about the same size. But, oops. This little flower is so happy, it makes me smile. Bright and cheery. Um, so I will link to One Day Saving down below where you can get these diamond paintings. They sent me three. The other one I completed, um, my most recent complete was one of theirs and it was a hummingbird. So that video is also on my channel if you missed it but I think I'm gonna say goodbye for now guys I think I've got his whole mouth done and I will work on the rest of this later um, I'll give you guys some progress updates on him maybe we'll do another whip and chat or maybe I'll just do like a time-lapse working on this we'll see but I do want to get some more videos posted this week. So bear with me, guys. I'm getting back to it, getting back in the rhythm. If I can get these drills in there, <laughs> trying to get them down in the bag. Um, but yeah, I'm getting back in the rhythm of doing things. Like I said, it's been a crazy summer. <sighs> but... Hope you guys are staying cool out there, and I do appreciate you watching my videos, and uh, leave a comment, 
let me know how you guys are doing. Let me know if you want me to post some knitting. I think I'm going to actually join Stephen West's um, Mystery Knit Along. He is doing a knit along starting October 6th. Oh my gosh, guys. I ran out of space. My phone just like the video cut off and I didn't even realize I had just been chatting away. So <laughs> I had to go through my camera roll and delete some videos so that I could do this uh, little outro and say goodbye. But I'm going to go ahead and end here, guys, so I can get this edited together now that I've got a couple pieces of videos to patch together. Um, but I will see you guys again in the next video. I'm trying to get back into things, so bear with me. But I will definitely be back very soon with some more diamond paintings and some knitting. So look forward to that, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.